Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here. Welcome back to The Shaved In, and we're here to do another shave. Uh, first of all, I wanna say thank you very much. I hit 30,000 subscribers. I wanna say thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you very much for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. I, uh, if you're new to the channel, I try to put out two videos a week, but I'm an engineer, a full-time engineer, and I've got my father-in-law living with us now, and uh, just this week, and uh, my son's moved back in, so I don't always get these uh, videos out at a, you know, on a regular basis. But I try to get two a week, especially when we have a lot of things to review. And we have some new things to review today. The first thing from Italy, Paradigma from uh, Panta Ray. And this is also available uh, for shipping from Panta Ray, but they have it at... Uh, Pasteur's Pharmacy in New York City. And they have a big website too. So it is available. It's uh, actually, the scent of the aftershave is very much stronger than the scent of the soap. The scent of the soap's a little milder, but it's good. And it's got fig, raspberry, grapefruit, geranium, jasmine, wood, and vetiver in it. But it is mild. Oh yeah, you can really smell it in the aftershave. So I'm gonna, I'm looking forward to trying out this again. Now, for the second time only, the Rex Envoy. I uh, bought this at the Surf City Shave Meetup. I've been looking for them online. And it's always a problem when you're online and you see one and you're wondering how it is. It's nice to pick one up and feel one. And uh, uh, Razor Emporium had a whole table set up and they had uh, their console, they had a bunch of cool razors there. But I've been looking at this for a while. I wanted a really nice razor that's on a bit of the aggressive side, and that's what I'm told. It's not from their website, that's what I'm told from uh, users uh, of this uh, particular model. And I'm gonna pair it today with a feather. So I'm gonna be trying this out only for the second time. You know, like I said, when I saw it there, I was I shaved off the goatee. I really didn't have a chance to check it out. It's a nice razor, a really nice razor, short handle, nice knurling. So I want to try this today. And one of my favorite brush companies, because it's the brush my father used, uh, Simpsons. I got a Chubby 2 LE. I'm going to be doing that today. And tonight, when I'm done with the shave, I'm taking my father-in-law and I'm going with my brother, and we're going to go see Jaws. I haven't seen that in the theater since 1975 when my dad took me. I was 13. That scared the hell out of me. So I'm watching it in high or digital 3D tonight. So it's going to be a good night out. So going to need a shave. All right. I'll be right back. All right. Here we go. Let us get the uh, razor set. And uh, I think they're individually serial numbered. Very, very heavy duty base plate. See, I never really had a chance to open it up and try it out. It was like, here you go, go. <laughs> Haven't had a chance to enjoy it. And I'm pairing it with a feather today because I, I don't want to cut myself, but I, I want to get rid of some of this uh, quickly without irritating my face. Some of the, uh, I went to a dermatologist they sprayed some uh, liquid nitrogen on me. So uh, it's giving me some burns and blisters and they're healing now. And I just wanna take them off <laughs> without bleeding. All right. Here we go. Locked in. Let me uh, put on the handle here. There we go. No overhang at all. Some people like it. There is no overhang at all on this razor. All right. Let me put the, uh, by the way, Rudy says, what's all that noise in the background? That's the automatic air freshener. It's lavender. <laughs> My wife got me lavender air freshener for the shaved in. All right. Got it in the crystal skull. I saw some of you guys have emailed me. You found some crystal skulls because it's Halloween. Uh, one gent said he found one. Uh, he, bought, he ordered four of them. And uh, so way to go. They're out there. They're kind of cool to just soak your brush in, you know, and they kind of look a little different. You can drop a candle in there, the uh, tea leaf, whatever those candles, and it really looks ominous at night. All right. 
let's get the shave started. I'm gonna leave my shirt on. I hope it doesn't get too much soap on it. And I've got uh, some more items at my P.O. box waiting to pick up. So I've got other items ready for the future shaves. Very good. All right. Here we go. Oh, that stirred up the flavor. Oops. This is thirsty. I'm going to put a little more water on there. I like it a little thinner for me. And I'm growing my goatee out again to shave off in a future video with another new razor. Soap's very slick <laughs> and very thick. Yeah, it's nice to get two shaves in, two shave videos a week. If I could, I would do it like every Wednesday, every Saturday, but I have, to have no control on my schedule. Sometimes I'm on video conferencing. I just have no control with work. But when I retire, then we'll see some more consistency. Because this will be my job. Whoa. Nice. You can feel But be careful, right? If you have a semi-aggressive razor and you put an aggressive blade in it, you can get a close shave, but you can also get cut. Anytime I load a feather into a razor, it's like, man, this could be a bloodbath because it has been before. We've all experienced it. Then you master it. And you don't get cut anymore. I was talking to one gentleman who works for uh, Mula, and he says his R41 is his dra daily driver, and he pairs it with a feather blade. Whew. Could be done now, but we'll try a second pass. So hope you guys are doing good. I hope you're having a good weekend. Like I said, I've had the father-in-law out with us for over a week now. He goes back home tomorrow. My son's moved back home. Got a full house. Got his dog with us. It's been crazy around here. But guess what? My wife's out shopping with him now, so I don't have to. Way to go. He took a bullet for me. <laughs> Wristwatch check. Seamaster 300. Still haven't got the NATO strap for it. I kind of, I'm kind of digging the uh, actual factory strap, but I will get that James Bond Spectre strap for it. Ah, a weeper. The feather got me. But not too bad, right? Mm, handle the feather blade very well. Okay. All right.
I took the blade out of the uh, Envoy. Uh, there's my goatee, man. That's the blade that was <laughs> left in the Envoy. <laughs> All right. Doesn't appear to be in need of an alum block. No, not so bad. Okay, now this is gonna really, I'm gonna feel this. All right. Oh man, I feel it. Whoa, what a burn. Wow. Very nice though. Yeah, see, not a big cut. <laughs> you can do a number with a feather blade. Uh, if you're gonna try one, just go very slow. There's no rush. You know, nobody, nobody's watching you on video. You're in your own shave den. Go slow, take it easy. All right. Well guys, have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Second video of the week. All right. Look forward to seeing you with a new video coming up very soon. Until then, stay safe.